In one of the hottest, most lifeless places on Earth, something impossible has been happening for centuries. In Death Valley, California, on a dry lake bed called Racetrack Playa, massive stones, some weighing over 300 kilograms, move across the ground completely on their own. No engines, no animals, no visible force. Just long winding trails carved into solid earth as if the stones decided to walk. Early explorers thought it was a hoax. Locals whispered about magnetic forces. Others blamed aliens or something far older. The strangest part, no one ever saw them move. For decades, scientists set up cameras. They watched, they waited, nothing. Yet every time they returned, the stones had shifted, sometimes meters away, leaving fresh tracks behind them like signatures. Some stones moved alone, others traveled together, then split apart. A few even changed direction mid-path as if reconsidering where they were going, and the ground beneath them, flat, dry, no slopes. In the 1940s, theories exploded. Wind too weak, earthquakes too rare, magnetism too inconsistent. Then came the footprints. Perfect grooves etched into hardened mud, sharp, deliberate, unmistakably real. In 2014, scientists finally captured movement on camera. But instead of answers, it raised new questions. Thin sheets of ice formed during freezing desert nights. Morning sunlight cracked the ice into panels. Gentle winds pushed the ice, men and the stones moved with it. Sounds simple, except the conditions required are so precise they occur only once every several years. A perfect balance of freezing temperatures, shallow water, ice thickness and wind speed. Miss one element and nothing happens. Which means for centuries these stones have been waiting. Silent still until the desert decides it's time. Even today, not every stone moves, some never do. Why certain stones respond and others don't remains unexplained. And there's one final detail no one can ignore. Some tracks begin in the middle of the playa. No starting point, no origin. As if the stone simply appeared already moving in a place where nothing should move. The earth itself occasionally decides to breathe. And when it does, the stones listen.